bottom shift uh, main product is not uh, lettuce or, or eggs or our chestnuts, is the model farm itself. A model farm cannot be an experiment. Model, fa model farm needs to be something that works. Climate change, biodiversity loss and polarization in society, and more concretely, uh, the farmer's crisis. So it's a farm designed to address those challenges in a very direct way. Our main uh, statement of purpose for Bodemschicht is to accelerate the transition towards uh, a different paradigm in which inclusivity is the main element and integrality. For me, what uh, the job of a farmer, the work a farmer has to do, is to facilitate life to make uh, a, a piece of land with the specific boundaries in, in space more productive. So how do you define productivity? And that it is defined through history in many different ways. And uh, lately, <clears throat> productivity was defined as economic growth. Point. But it could be other ways to define productivity. And if you start from climate change and biodiversity loss and polarization in society and the farmer's crisis, perhaps productivity can be uh, defined as a more multiple value thing, as the creation of multiple forms of capital. Suddenly the climate or the the animals of the weather is becoming an actor and is becoming present and is making changes and is affecting economy and suddenly we find we find out that soil is not uh, uh, forever and ever there no it's something that you can deplete and uh, and that we are depleting very 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 quickly erosion can go all the way so erosion could have can affect all the layers it is usually described as the loss of topsoil so the weather could be the rain or the wind uh, just washes it off. But erosion is also um, the loss of, uh, of diversity in species. No? We are eroding the landscape and by that means we are washing away uh, life. People are very aware when things depleted, but nobody is thinking Okay, perhaps we can just make it better. And that's going to be beneficial for us because we are going to get better production in all forms, but also beneficial for others. What we are trying to do is to mitigate climate change and feed people and have a profitable, uh, a profitable business and to build community too. If you are not having a profitable business, you are not a farmer, you're just having a uh, hobby, planting your veggies in your backyard, that's perfectly fine, it's very nice to do, but you cannot sustain yourself as, as a farmer, as a professional farmer, and, and we need farmers. To be able to have a profitable business, we need to incorporate in what we do uh, business management uh, methods, that are very universal now, and, um, and also the parts of industrial farming, and not only, not only industrial farming, but also industrial practices, like the, all these leaning techniques that have been evolved uh, in the car industry, for example, no? and applying that to farming processes, to routines, to procedures, to being very efficient in what you do, being very careful with your time motion studies, monitor that very closely, have very clear protocols for the things you want to do, have a very clear planning for the whole season, make very clear financial assessments of what is your financial situation. I don't know if it's hope, what, we, what I have, or optimism, what I have is the conviction 
that it is the only way for me to go with my life. Because of everything I know and everything I feel and everything I experience. So for me, it is the only way to go, to actually follow my core values and translate them into something material that I can be sort of proud of, but that I can just live with and try to escape this frustration of, uh, of living in a world that doesn't fit with uh, what I do and a world that ignores the main challenges that we are facing as a species and as a community of humans and non-humans. Mm -hmm.